One of the things I want to bring up that I really like about Upneak and this new product is I have something I can do for ptosis. You know, my referring physicians now have something because a lot of times they may have referred that patient to me uh, to what are you going to do with it? Well, I don't do uh, lid lifts and I don't do ptosis repair. So many times they're referring that patient to me. I'm seeing that patient and referring it on to the plastic surgeon. So now what I'm doing is teaching all those referring physicians as well as my staff, hey, we've got this new product. And I, I like to use the analogy of dry eye disease. We didn't talk a lot about dry eye disease in the early 90s and the late 80s because we didn't have a lot of things to do. And now that we have the ability to either give a patient cyclosporin or lephitograss or the ability to treat a patient's meibomian gland disease, we're more apt to bring that up. Well, I think that this is the unique opportunity we have with Upneak. We have the opportunity to tell a patient, we can treat you now. And that's what a doctor wants to be able to do is treat them. But there's two points that I wanna bring up. Number one, if I have that dry eye patient, I can use Upneak and if it actually makes their dry eye worse by lifting their lid, then I know not to refer them to the plastic surgeon and say, hey, that's interfering with your daily activities of living. Maybe we don't wanna deal with that right now and, and create another problem. Or I can actually lift their lid, they use the drop and they find that pretty simple and they go on with their life. Or they may have issues that are worse and that the drop doesn't do what it needs to do. And then I can use it diagnostically to refer them to a plastic surgeon. So Upneak has made it so much simpler for me to take care of this acquired ptosis, uh, it's not even funny. I really have enjoyed having it in my practice.